Hey guys, I've got a couple of videos out there on how to glue up a jigsaw puzzle with the Mod Podge. You know, it clear coats it, it seals it up, it keeps the pieces together. Uh, but, you know, it's not always permanent. The pieces can come loose and stuff. I've got a hundred or so puzzles and a couple of them's missing pieces even after I Mod Podge them. Uh, so today, I'm going to show how to do a Lumen Light Amazing Clear Coat on this. It's a clear uh, resin epoxy. And you can use it for castings, for clear coating bar tops, countertops, things like that. But I'm going to do it today with puzzle. I'm going to put a frame around here to hold the liquid in. First, I'm going to have to use the Mod Podge. Seal it all up real good because in between the individual pieces, could be some air bubbles there's gaps you put that epoxy on it those air bubbles will rise up and you'll see those air bubbles and there's a couple of tricks to getting them out and i'll show you that as we go along now this is my first time using the clear coat resin uh, so you know if this is your first time follow along with me and hopefully we'll get her done this is an amazing puzzle it's called lady with chicken it was given to me by a really good friend it is it is an amazing beautiful puzzle i mean just look at this uh, but I will get on with it and get everything set up and be right back. I'm back. I'm hoping there's enough light in this room. It's getting dark outside and I have the darkest room in the world. Um, what I did, I took some of this foam I got from Hobby Lobby. It was a big sheet. I put underneath the puzzle, cut it to fit. Then I took some shoe mold or some quarter round that we had laying around. Uh, mitered the edges, made a frame with it, used a uh, brad neller, nailed the corners together, and I got it sitting on this white piece of uh, board here just to keep the epoxy off of the table. So now I'm going to get the epoxy mixed up. Oh, and I have clear coated this already with the Mod Podge. Uh, you know, I got videos like that. Look down in the description box, you'll find where to purchase the puzzle, where to purchase Mod Podge. Mod Podge, <laughs> and uh, also the uh, the clear coat resin that I'm using, and a link to the video on how to glue up a puzzle with Mod Podge, in case you haven't seen it. Check it out. Okay, I've stacked me some cups together here to give it some stability, and I mixed four ounces of part A, four ounces of part B in the cups. I've stirred it really thoroughly for about probably seven, eight minutes. There are no swirls. I'll let it set for a few minutes so some of the tiny air bubbles would come up. But I can still see some in there. So we're gonna pour this half out. I'm gonna mix up another half, pour that out, and then show you how to deal with the air bubbles if there are any. kind of evenly over everything and I made sure there was no dust or any anything on the puzzle here before I started pouring get all that poured out get all this out of here I'm gonna mix up a second batch and I'll stop the camera when I mix up the second batch because you don't want to sit there and listen to me for seven or eight minutes doing that silliness. Okay, we've got that poured out there. I'm going to give it a little tilt in a couple of directions, get everything coated good. Got a lint free foam brush here. I'm going to use to go around the edges. Make sure it gets down in all the cracks. And that'll help hold the frame to the, to the puzzle and the epoxy and everything, so that'd be cool. This is self-leveling, so I just want to make sure I get a even coat on it here and then it will 
find its own level. I'm wearing gloves, you should too. This stuff is sticky. If it does happen to harden up on you, it's probably pretty hard to get off. I'll be back after the second batch is mixed up. Okay, I got batch number two mixed up. This small little dot down here at the bottom that didn't get covered. I'm going to pour a little bit on that. Foam brush. You gotta kind of move your head around in the light to make sure you get all the dry spots. it up on the edge of the frame a little bit. This stuff will get hard as glass, so I don't want it popping out. That'll help anchor it in. And it just helps break its surface tension with the epoxy. A little flow. Dry spot here. Looks pretty good. Tilt it a little bit, make sure everything evens out. Alrighty, I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. And any little tiny air bubbles in it should come to the top. And then I'm gonna get a spray bottle, a mist bottle with some rubbing alcohol in it, 
spritz the top of it and that will instantly pop that surface tension and bust those bubbles. Alrighty, be back here shortly, about 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes now. And according to the directions, I can take some rubbing alcohol and mist it over the top and it'll break any uh, bubbles that are up at the surface. And I see a few. You, the camera would never pick it up. You've got to really get down into the light and move around to see them. So I've got this uh, little squirt bottle here. With uh, This is actually 90% rubbing alcohol, 91% alcohol. Alrighty, I'm going to spritz it on here. Now, I've never done this. I hope I don't screw it up. Whoa, it made the surface really crinkly. Wow. Now, it's supposed to evaporate. The surface is really ripply, but I do not see any more bubbles. There's one. Now it's gone. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, I'm going to put a cover over this so dust doesn't settle on it and let it sit for about 18 hours and then take the covering off and see what it looks like. Right now it looks pretty good, let's see. Yep, all that crinkly that it did, it's all going away when that rubbing alcohol hit it. And it is just glass smooth. I mean, it's like a mirror finish. Cool beans. Well, just to show you what I did, I took two pieces of shoe molding and put across the frame. And then I wrapped saran wrap all the way around the table, like five times. So that's gonna keep the dust out. We'll be back in about 18 hours or well, probably tomorrow morning and uh, check out the end result. Okay, it's the next morning, and you can see how glassy that is, the reflection of the light behind it. <laughs> Everything's reflecting off of it. I'm going to have to do one more coat. The edges, the puzzle itself, uh, just a little higher on the edges. you got a spot right there. You can see some of these up along the edges. That's what it looks like. That is just slick as it can be. So I'm gonna get another kit this weekend and uh, put one more coat on it and that'll fill up, since it's all good and flat now, that'll fill up all these shallow areas and make it all just as smooth as it can be. Look at that. All right guys, hope you learned something. I did. Thanks for watching.